morning. Okay, one more time. Someone says good morning. Thank you. Alright, um, this morning we're going to talk to you a little bit about some rules you need to know about, some of the same. I'm going to talk to you about some things that are a little bit different. And then our student council is going to talk to you about some things that are going to be a lot different in terms of Hefe and Spirit and what they have planned for this school year. So, to begin with, let me start with the fun stuff. Fun stuff for me, but not necessarily for everybody else. But let's go over dress code. We've talked a little bit about hats, you know about those, but those are the basic things up there. I know you can read. I'm not going to read them to you. Um, certain things you need to know, though, is on a second offense, if we we have to talk to you twice. One time, we'll just give you a warning, ask you to change. If I have to talk to you twice, I'm going to put you in ISS that next time. So the first time, warning, no problem. Second time, we're going to be looking at something a little bit more severe. Fighting, just to give you an idea, if you fight, you're going to get yourself arrested. We've arrested one person this school year. I'm not opposed to arresting anybody else. That is not a way to handle yourself at school. Um, let me... Let me make myself clear, Officer Shelby's here, and that is not a way to deal with problems. You come see me, Mr. Stinson, the SLAM, the guidance counselor, the teacher, we will help you to correct the solution, or correct the problem, and find a solution before it becomes a bigger problem for you. Zero tolerance, there are some certain things. We've got a metal detector, a breathalyzer. We'll bring those to football games and other events. So we want to have a safe environment for you this school year. Student organization, things you need to know. Signing in and out in the front office, you get yellow passes. That just gets you, that's just for, your, for you, really. Uh, so you have a record of if you came in late or left early. And we keep that on a computer, so if there's ever a question, or you have a question, we can go back and you can go, hey, no, 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 I want to see your signed in. We can go back and check that out. Um, another thing, your planner. We give you a free planner. Um, everybody in the school gets one. Keep it. It has lots of hall passes in the back to be used. It's got a daily way for you to keep track of what you have to do for your classes. Uh, that's yours to use, write in whatever you need, but it's also your pass out of class. That's what we'll be looking for in the hallway. And as you can see, first time if you're walking out in the hallway without it. And this week we've been fairly fluid because you've been changing classes, but come Monday, We'll be looking for you if you're in the hallway to have a pass and a planner because it's the way we know you're heading where you're supposed to be going. Attendance, things you need to know when you come back to school, bring a note. If you bring a note, it's excused, not a problem, no big deal, we move on, we get your work, that sort of thing. If you come back to school without a note, we have to assume it's unexcused. And then we come and find you and you assign two lunch detentions. This is the schedule. You've been through it a couple of days this week. If you were here last year, you know what that looks like. Except I'm going to make a slight modification this year. And it's what I call a give and a take. All right? I'm going to give you something, but in giving you something, I also have to take something. One of the biggest issues we have is getting to class on time. And what I realized, and what we'll talk, some of us talked about for the past four months, is ways to get you to know when that bell is about to ring. So we're going to call it give and take. I'm going to give you a six minute passing time this year, all right, as opposed to five minutes. That gives you an extra minute to get where you need to be. What we're going to do come Monday is we'll ring a bell at the five minute mark, sort of give you a warning bell, and then none, another at the six minute mark. So I'm going to give you an extra minute, I'm going to give you a warning bell so you have an idea of when you might be late to get to where you need to be. But it's sort of a give and take. By giving you some extra time, what I'm going to do is, well, we've done this each year, every tardy after the fourth, you end up getting lunch detention. But the new thing is going to be, we're going to do a thing called tardy lockdown. We're going to have where teachers lock their doors after that six minute time frame. And those students, we're going to put through a tardy lesson. Mr. Stinson spent some time and came up with a fabulous lesson for you. Um, and that's the way you earn yourself, you earn your way back to class. So I'm going to give you some extra time. I'm going to give you some more warning to help you out. Um, but in the same part, it's a give and take between the both of us. Lunch, you've been through it three days, going the fourth day right now, you know it's 55 minutes. Mostly, this lunch, this week, as opposed to the first week last year, you've done 
a lot better. A lot better. Um, freshmen, you sort of adapted much better um, than we expected. And you were very patient, and I appreciate that. The first day, we had long lines. Some people didn't get through in time, and we knew that was going to kind of happen, but you guys were really patient. I appreciate that. By yesterday, the lines went through really smoothly. Everybody's able to get lunch in a good amount of time and have plenty of time to be able to do the things you need to do. So I really appreciate you guys being patient as we work through some of those kinks. And if you haven't figured it out right there on D Hallway, they've been selling pizza and fries. I think fries, but I know pizza every day on D Hallway as soon as lunch begins. And I think the first couple of days they even sold out of pizza. So it's just another spot in the school that we're going to try and keep consistent for you uh, to have food for you. Um, lunch activities will be a big calendar outside Mr. Stinson's office, so you can kind of check that out. And I'm glad to see that the seniors are using that outdoor courtyard that's yours. Um, I expect that you guys keep it clean, keep it up, maintain. And if there's something wrong, uh, let me know, and we'll do what we can to fix it up for you. Lunch detention, will start that next week. That will happen when you have tardy problems, mostly, or unexcused absences. Um, and also midday help sessions. There could be a time where you're struggling in your class and your teacher says, you need to come see me. All right? That means the teacher is requiring you to come see them during your lunch. You bring your lunch, but you need to go see them. That means you're behind or there's something they need to help you with or you're missing something that needs to be caught up or to get you ahead. Uh, that is not optional. If a teacher pulls you aside and says, I need you during lunch today because we need to catch you up on something, that's not something you go, oh, I guess I might not go. Because they're going to let me know we're going to come get you and say, that was not an optional thing. Now we're going to keep you secluded for a time during the day, an isolated time, to make sure you get what you're supposed to have done. And then credit recovery, for those that have not passed the previous course, you know about this already, but see Miss Land if you have an interest in getting back some of those courses that you have previously failed. Late Start Mondays, first ones is upcoming Monday. All right. Basically, for new students to our school, it's almost every single Monday during the school year. Um, there's some odd Mondays like the Thanksgiving week or just before we go to winter break or stuff like that where we don't have one. But more, more often than not, we have a late start Monday. Uh, we have 27 of them. The first one's this Monday. If you come and ride on the bus, that's okay. You'll come into the school. It will sort of be like the lunch period where you have plenty of places to go. Once the library is done, you'll even have that available to you to go work on the computer. Um, so I just want you to know ahead of time that first Monday is coming this Monday right here. All right, PBS. We're going to try and make PBS a little bit more enticing for you, those tickets. We know not everybody wants the tickets or likes the tickets, but at least we'll try and make them redeemable for things you might want. So what we thought of doing was we're going to have a PBS cart. Every Friday, Ms. McNell is going to be here in the front lobby, and she's going to actually bring out a cart. And you can come up every single Friday during lunch and actually redeem your tickets for something. All right? Some of them are very basic. You know, oh, yeah, I want a double bubble. Here's a ticket. Okay, you got a double bubble. But some of them are be a little bit more appealing to you. Maybe a 50 tickets. You want a $5 gas card. Helps a little bit with your gas getting to school for your upperclassmen. Boom, you bring that. You need to be able to get that ticket. Not yet, Lou. Patience. 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 Patience, Lou. Patience. All right. And at the end of the year, for the past three years, we've given away a car. We will do so again. Uh, Mr. Hobbs and his group have done a great job getting cars together. And so we will at the end of the year. And if you hand in a ticket, just so you know, if you redeem something, we keep that ticket. If you redeem something next week for a double bubble, we actually keep that ticket all year and put it in the car drawer. So you don't have to hold on to them if you don't want to. You can. A lot of students do. But if you redeem something, we just don't throw your ticket away. It becomes part of the car drawing as well. All right, the other thing is uh, we've given away these Visa reward cards. We've created a new one. I've got perfect attendance. You can see some of the things for that. Straight A's, some of the things for that. Um, there's more stuff on the car, but I just picked a couple. The new one is perfect punctuality, being on time in class. And so what we're going to do is provide you the opportunity, if you're the first trimester, you have no tardies, you can get that perfect punctuality card, and that will actually allow you to have some time where you come in late to school and some time where you leave early from school. So it's an incentive for those people that are on time consistently all the time, 
This is a way for you to earn something that you might want. All right, first week to do's. If you haven't already, make sure you get all that information back to your first period teacher. Um, they will get it into the right people. If you did not fill out the student information form or have not handed that in, Come ask me, Ms. Lynn, Mr. Stinson, somebody in the front office, we will get you the right information to get back to us. That's important because I actually sent out like a connect ed message yesterday. It's one of those automated messages that you probably got home and you're like, why is Mr. Gunner calling my house? Why is he just rambling on my answering machine? Well, some of the, most parents like to hear sort of what's going on and sometimes I do that when there's an emergency or some other things going on and so we really need your contact information at the house in case some, there was an emergency here or just for general information of things coming up. So please get that back in. If you have it, get the right form. Seniors, this be for seniors only. That's students that have, are in their fourth year of high school with us. Um, you meet me in here today, I got a little surprise for you. A little cap, a little, well, it's not a cafeteria treat, is it? We got a little treat from somewhere else, but uh, we brought a little treat for the seniors, and I'm going to go over some things specific to you today. All right, I am going to turn it over at this time to the student council. So where is my student council presidents?
received like 500 points or something for their grade. Remember the point system that Dave just talked about? Yeah, kind of vague, but um, anyway, you guys are going to get points and we're going to put it up on the board. And again, the, per the grade with the most points is going to win something at the pep rally, at the next pep rally that we have. Um, and also, the grade that steals it, it's bragging rights, okay? And if, if um, the spirit stick is not stolen, then um, we still get, you know, bragging points, like if the seniors have it, or the sophomores have it. I mean, I mean they'll have bragging rights until the next pep rally, and then we'll have it all over again, okay? Um, and also, next week, we're doing this thing. Um, we're having this thing where um, next week we're going to dress up in black and gold every day, okay? So it's going to be like our spirit rush week, okay? So every day, woo! Every day is black and gold day, and every Friday from here on out is going to be black and gold Friday, okay? Um, okay, um, now we're going to have a spirit sit competition, the first one of the year, okay? You guys ready?